All right, what's up, Hot Squad? Welcome back and happy Friday. So yes, I got three more reactions for y'all for the rest of the day, and I just got from work, so I'm in my little tie right now. But I'm still active right now, and I want to go ahead and do some reactions before the weekend because I am not doing no reactions the weekend. I'm going to be taking a break from it until next week or so. So yes, Hot Squad, as I promised in my post, if y'all see my post, I'm doing more Zeph Zeph fires. Yeah, I pronounced it right, Zeph fires videos this time. I'm going to see his recaps of Jaden Smith's The Karate Kid reboot. I definitely remember this. I, it's been so long since I've seen the reboot of The Karate Kid. This came out 2010. 2010! 13 years ago it is crazy. I, so I was going to have some nostalgic memories to me. Because I, after seeing it multiple times growing up, I thought it was good. I thought it was pretty good. You know. And um, here 2023 is going to be just like, wow. It feels that it was that long they came out. It's crazy. And I think it's still having it on DVD. So yeah, Hot Squad. I'm excited to see this, you know, recap. So the video is going to be called Jaden Smith was getting cooked. So yeah, um, this might be the, like, the beginning of the Karate Kid reboot, you know, when Jaden Smith began his ass whooped by um one of the bullies. So it was like damn man, it's such a nostalgic memory seeing this. So Hot Squad, what we're gonna do, let's check this out. Jaden Smith was getting cooked by Zeph Fire. Let's check it out. It's about to go down. And now, our feature presentation. I'm not gonna lie. This nigga, Jaden Smith, was getting cooked. <laughs> See, it's been a long time since I watched this movie. But I was rewatching yeah. it recently. So and I was appalled because, man, this nigga, Jaden Smith, is getting cooked in every single scene. <laughs> this is not no regular beatdown. Nah, it's like every single part of the movie is made to make Jaden Smith's life worse. The way Jaden <laughs> Smith was getting beat in this movie, <laughs> I am convinced Chris Rock was oh talking to the director through past like he was Aaron. Talking about some, do you remember what they did to you? He's 12! When I he went there. Movie, he totally totally went there. He's totally went there. Oh wow, he went there. The movie because everyone just hates this nigga. And I'm about to get into it right now. But before we even get to any of that, watch this transition real quick. Oh yeah, definitely. This was very awesome. Yeah. Someone get him a Grammy. Come on, we gotta talk about this nigga's mom, bro. That was a great. Why transition. would she bring? I don't know. An <laughs> eight-year-old black kid, fresh out of Atlanta, to China of all places, <laughs> and then she out here shocked he don't fit in. Nigga, what? <laughs> Gotta be the top five worst parenting moments I done ever seen in my entire <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, life. it's true. I have seen a lot of movies, <laughs> a lot of bad parents. Uh. But this one take the cake. I'm as black as they come. That's like putting me in Russia. That's yeah. tough. And not only that, literally every single person in this movie was just out for his neck. And I'm not exaggerating. I'm about to get into That's it. true. Number one, when he first gets there, you know what I'm saying? He goes to the park and he decides I to play ping you. pong with these two old men. You're just playing ping pong. You know what I'm saying? This is not nothing serious. And what does this old ass nigga do? He beats the living shit out of this yo. nigga. My brother in Christ, it's ping pong. There is no <laughs> circumstance where this place should be coming out of your inventory to play ping pong. <laughs> My man couldn't even catch a break in the first 10 minutes of the movie. <laughs> and after he plays, you know, he had a little Asian shorty peeping him. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he was putting the moves on for him. He was to her? some riz. Look at the bullies in the back mimicking him, bro. I'm telling She's you, you laughing. cannot catch a break. <laughs> and then what does the Asian shorty say to him? May I catch you out here? Yes. That had to be racist. A lot of y'all be like, oh, you know, people in China don't have that type of hair. Next time she sees him, look at what she does. Yep, yeah, pulls it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I beg your pardon. I'm telling you, this movie was absolutely crazy. So Jade is still trying to raise, and then you got the biggest menace of all time oh, walking up. This if there was a textbook definition of a black Air Force energy, yes. it was definitely yes. this kid. Yo, he was a menace. His role so well. Every time I see his face, I get pissed off. Yes. He wasn't even doing anything to me. This man's hockey was crazy, though. He just stared at Jade. This nigga backed off five feet. What happened to him, though? Avenger level he, he should not be in this movie, right? <laughs> so he starts lecturing the girl, you know what I'm saying, slapping her papers down. Jade ain't trying to be Clark Kent, Mr. Satan. <laughs> but, oh, I don't know what it is about these movie characters. I was just on Harry Osborne last week. What did Future say? I can't save no hoes. <laughs> and what do these niggas keep doing? They oh God, yeah. Trying yep. to save the hoes. Yep. Look at this light skin ass hair too, bro. You know he was plotting. So he tries to give her the paper. He slaps it down. He's like, Nah, leave him there. Jaden grabs it again. And Jaden pulls it out real yep. quick. Did bro just like this? Fight! You ain't gonna get these back. Oh! <laughs> 
I know he was feeling himself after that. And the moment he gave that stare, I already put that like, around some devious timing. Look at this face. He's about to commit some nefarious acts. He just pushing Jaden's face, hits him right on the Damn. floor. And Jaden's like, nah, I ain't going out like that. Square up. And look at this stance, man. <laughs> this goddamn stance, yo. Once I saw this stance, I knew this nigga had zero overall with no badges. He has never seen action in his life. Yeah. Like, look at him. Who are you smoking with this pose? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the bully's name is Chang right here, but he already know this nigga ain't about nothing. He just put his hands up asking for all the smoke. He knew it was free eats. Jaden run at him and he just hit him with the cleanest Damn. sweep I've ever seen in my life. He just eats cement. Man hit Jaden so hard, he didn't even know where he was at. <laughs> my boy is flabbergasted. The bully's friends help Jaden up, and then they're like, go get him, go get him. And you know, he's having my boy Jaden up. And Jaden's like, I say less. So Jaden charged right at him, only for Chang to completely oh, flip this back. nigga over, and he lands right on Damn. his back. With the anime reaction shot to <laughs> boom. The bully's friends who were just hyping up Jaden to yep. charge at Chang, are cheering at the fact that he got thrown yeah. like that. And y'all think I'm exaggerating that this movie was against this nigga? <laughs> no! Everybody hates him. This nigga Jaden must have done something wrong within his life to have a movie hate him this much. You know, he gets up, he's trying to wipe the tears off his face, man. Once you saw the tears, you already know it was over, <laughs> dog. Go home. He starts to throw a punch and Chang just blocks it straight up. And he stares into Jaden's soul. I'm telling you, he didn't have enough XP to challenge him. Jaden again hits the floor. It's like his fifth time in this fight. But after hitting the floor, Jaden actually gets a clean uppercut in. And just to show you how much the movie hates him, Ching gets back up with the cleanest rebound Damn. I've ever seen within my nine. That was clean, though. That was clean. Planet. You saw how clean that was, bro? Put this Shit. nigga in the MCU. <laughs> Even Daniel in the first Karate Kid got a clean hit to this nigga, <laughs> bro. Bro, Ching is on the same level with people like Chang Chi. He's out here playing <laughs> with 12-year-olds. You're in the wrong universe, buddy. And he proceeds to absolutely piece this nigga down with a combo so hard that every single God hit damn. was in my soul. And as if the hits weren't enough, he flips Jaden over on some WWE Damn. shit, bro. And Jaden once again hits cement. I ain't ever seen a nigga stare at the floor this much. Unless it's a gym girl doing squats in front of me. I'm about to call this nigga Cement Smith. Oh, Y'all are best friends. And then Chang is like, uh, I'm not finished. And then hits him right. full force in the eye. This nigga's an Avenger level threat. <laughs> we not even 30 whole minutes in the movie. And Jaden's already getting peace like this. I'm telling you, I'm not exaggerating when this movie completely trashes on him in literally every single regard and then you see this white kid right here who is literally Jaden's only main support yeah. and the only one to really tap in and be like I right, chill out this nigga disappears halfway throughout yes. the movie yeah that could keep going man. barely there in the movie is literally still an entire movie left <laughs> this is just the intro right. but if I was to keep going we would be here for literally hours this script absolutely hated Jaden Smith with a passion I have no idea why. But there is a reason why the movie is written like this. Now, let me put my nerd analysis glasses on, and I'm going to show y'all why stories are written like this. So take notes. When a character like this is constantly getting beat down, if you are a regular human being that has sympathy for others, you are automatically going to be more willing to root for the main character. That's why Spider-Man 2 makes Peter Parker's life literally the worst thing yep. you could ever possibly sit through yep. and watch. That's why Naruto keeps getting cucked by every yeah. <laughs> single thing within his life. And so when they finally win, it feels 30 times more satisfying mm -hmm. as opposed to if they were always gaining what they wanted. So there is a reason why Mr. Cement Smith keeps getting involved <laughs> in this movie. That's why that final fight hit so much. I got to make a video on that too. But rewatching, it's just like, God, it's hard to watch. My man doesn't get a single W for like 95% of the movie. It's crazy. <laughs> I don't even think the OG Karate Kid was that bad. There was multiple times where Daniel had the ups on the bullies. I don't think Jaden had a single moment like that. It's just crazy. But as much as I would think that everything was against Jaden in this movie, there is some times where he do deserve it. So you got Concrete Smith here, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get revenge on the bullies because he ain't going out like no punk. And he cooks up, I think, probably the worst plan I done ever seen in my entire life. This man goes to hide behind a car. He's out there yep, rubbing his hands like a cartoon. <laughs> this is the smartest contraption he could have ever cooked up. And what does he do? He throws water. Damn. Wait, what happened? Oh, this must be a copyright music or something like that. Okay. I was like, what happened to the audio?
Oh. In plain oh, there go. sight. It's like he wanted to be seen. And for something like this, I can't even defend it. He deserves it. And that's how you know how diabolical this movie script is. Yeah. You're treating Concrete Smith as such an L? Even I'm starting to see it. And Mr. Concrete over here didn't even know that these niggas had chased down Hall of Fame, bro. Look at them. Put these niggas in the NFL. <laughs> and I'm saying every single kid that's part of this movie's power level is way too high for this movie, bro. Like, if we skip forward to the tournament, some of the things these niggas be doing. Now, look at this move right here. Why are they God all damn. here when they got moves like this in the arsenal? <laughs> I don't care what any of y'all say, this is not human. Seriously, yo, God, if this movie damn. ever got a sequel, I wouldn't be surprised if all these niggas just had powers. And this man, Concrete, he's trying to block off paths like it's a video game. <laughs> Literally closes the entire gates. And just when I told y'all their power levels are way too high, look what this nigga do. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. That had to be the most majestic jump I done ever seen. <laughs> More so nefarious, he changed the entire music of the scene. This is absurd! And I don't know if y'all see this movie, but Mr. Concrete gets whooped, and what does he do? Meet Concrete. Concrete Smith is really going outside <laughs> this whole movie, bro. Tough. See. Well, that was part one, y'all. That was part one of the, um, the Crockett recap, because I got Jay Smith is a fraud, and Jayden becomes him Smith. <laughs> Oh boy, but that that was a great part one or great part one. Wow, dude, this this brings back brings me back, man. But yeah, um, his his character Dre Parker, I believe, was his character's name. Man, he was getting cooked. His ass was getting cooked in the beginning, <laughs> but he started progressing, progressing, became a a pro. But yeah, man, it's like damn, man. And also, um, I found out that one of the director the director of the movie also did freaking Agent Cody Banks. I beg your pardon. Yes, that Agent Cody Banks. And the and the Pete Panther part um part two with C Martin I was like okay uh, I beg your pardon I, I was kind of worried there but um yeah he did a pretty decent job with the movie but yeah oh uh, yeah so Hot Squad I got part one already finished so I got part two coming in a few minutes y'all so please stay tuned for that so Hot Squad there you have it that was my reaction to part one of Seth Fire's Karate Kid River recap Jay Smith was getting cooked. <laughs> This was a good recap. This is a great recap. I, I'm glad to see this is like part three of these recaps it's because it's, it's this is nostalgic. This movie's nostalgic to me growing up. 13 years ago, like I said, it's crazy. It came out in 2010. I remember seeing it in theaters, you know. I've seen it multiple times in theaters, obviously, you know. And honestly, I enjoyed it. You know, it's not, of course, not a masterpiece like the first one, the first Squad Kid was, but it's good as it is. That's a reboot. It's good. But yeah, Hot Squad, please stay tuned because I have part two. Of, my, of Zeth Fire's Karate Kid re reboot recap. It's called Jade Smith is a Fraud. So I'm definitely excited to see this. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned.